Hi, welcome to the Jim Sapphire channel. Please subscribe and you can also follow me on Instagram Jim Sapphire. So today's video is on my overall lipstick collection. You name it, lipstick, lip tint, lip liner, lip gloss. Uh, I'll try to be good about not only mentioning the brand, but also if there's anything special in terms of the texture, be it metallic or cream. If there's a, a scent that's either um, appealing or obnoxious. Any, any detail that I think will help you decide if you would like to include um, these lip items in your personal makeup collection. So I wanted to start off first with lipstick tints. So just a few of them. Um, so the first one is uh, from La Neige. It's their, um, what do you call it, their two-tone lipstick number four milk blurring. The nice thing about this one is, as you can see, uh, like half of it is a light colored balm and the other part is the colored portion. So if you actually want to do an ombre lip, lipstick look with this, you, this helps to achieve that more easily. But I mean, if you don't want to buy this, you know, you know, you could do a dark lipstick and then put a light lipstick in the middle. And that would be the ombre. Um, in terms of the texture, it, it actually does feel moisturizing, moisturizing, and smooth on the lips. I, I think it helps because it, there's that additional, you know, that clear portion or that light portion that's the balm. The, the only complaint is it's a little pricey, you know, for thirty dollars, and and then the packaging itself is, as you can hear. <laughs> It's not, it's not like the best packaging, it's not luxury packaging, even though it's close to $30. So another um, Asian brand is Etude House. So the first one is their Dear Darling Tint. I actually was surprised when I used this. I thought it was going to be super sheer and the color wouldn't stand out, but it actually is a very bright color. And... Um, uh, and Etude House always always knocks it out of the park in terms of like adorable, um, girly packaging. So there's this one, the Dear Darling Tint. And then I also, from Etude House, got two of their, their lip tints. So when it arrived, I, I was like, wow, they, it looks like lipsticks, right? But actually, when you open it up, there's a little dough tip. So... So uh, a little novelty to the eye. So these are definitely um, kind of juicy, sheer. And with this one, it might look like a light pink, but actually on the lips, it was it was a fruity pink. So it actually did stand out. This is their a special edition one from the New Year's. And then I also got their Berry Delicious and uh, V... Oh, V9, 6, 4, 9, 3. Don't worry, I'll list all these. The, the dough tip, it, it looks like the color might be a strange like purple or blue. But actually on my lips, it looks kind of like a, a purplish pink is the best description. So both of these have a nice scent to them. And it's more for if something that's more kind of like a, not a lipstick so much, but like... It, I don't want to say oily gloss, but more in, the, in terms of that look, that texture. And then my last lip tint is from Chesunga. So it, this one is in cashmere. One is the gloss, this end, and the other one's the tint. I mean, in the tube, it looks super red, but once you apply, apply it evenly on the lips, it just makes it look very just wet, very moist, and, and it just blends in. So going on from lip tint to lip glasses. So when I went to the um, makeup makeup conference back in January, I got this as a sample from Dosa Colors in infinitely pink. I actually do like the texture. It's very nice and it's just a, a light hint of glitter. I mean sometimes with lip gloss. It might, it might make your lips look moist, but you know what I mean? When you put it on, it doesn't always apply evenly, and, and it actually doesn't moisturize your lips. So this one is not too drying. 
And then the next one is from Too Faced. They're their um, creamy peach oil lip gloss. This one's uh, is um, it, it does have a creamy finish when you use it, but at the end, I think it's because of the oil in it. It it, it actually is moisturizing, and depending on which um, color you pick, some of them have more of that apricot peachy scent. So that might be a turn off for some people. So the next um, lip gloss I, I wanted to talk about is from ColourPop. I'm just looking at it because, uh, you know what, ColourPop, the, like the writing after a while uh, just kind of disappears. But this one is in Quinn, the color Quinn. This is one of their metallic lip glosses. I would say, I mean, applying on, applying it is not so smooth. You, you kind of have to work a little harder because it looks a little patchy when you're trying to apply it. But once you evenly put everything on, the, it ha, it's a very pretty metallic uh, lip gloss. And then my other lip gloss is from MAC, their Cream Sheen um, Glass. I would say MAC has improved on their lip glosses um, year, years back, like 10, 20 years back. Like they were very... I would, you know, kind of what I was uh, implying, mentioning earlier about lip glosses. A lot of times, I don't like them because they're very, actually drying. But they, they definitely have improved on that because it's a lot more moisturizing than the older formulations. So I, um, so it makes me want to buy more of Max Cream Sheen um, glass lip glosses. So on to. Uh, liquid lipsticks talk about a such a popular um, class um, since last year I mean that's all everyone's talking about on YouTube liquid lipsticks so one of the first ones I wanted to discuss is from Kat Von D this the one I have in my hand is plath it's a it's like a red brown it's very flattering in terms of their formulation I would say the finished look is pretty you just have to apply it evenly, depending on uh, the colors, because like the blue one and the purple one, they're, they're very patchy, so you have to maybe put on two layers for it to look nice. The other thing I would say, too, when you apply the liquid lipsticks from Kat Von D, try not to make a habit of, like, you know what I mean? When you, uh, when you put on lipstick, a lot of times what I do is I, I'll put my t lips together and try to evenly distribute it, like, like that. If you do it with this, it, it doesn't look good. It actually ruins what you've already tried to do. So just just spread it with the actual um, the doe foot that they provide you instead of you know doing what I just did. I, I know it's like for a lot of us that's hard because that's how we we grew up knowing how to wear lip products. The uh, the other liquid lipstick that shouldn't be surprising is Too Faced Melted. These. You know, every single color I've ever tried from them, it's flattering. It's just, I mean, I, I haven't found a color yet that I don't like in Too Faced uh, Melted Lipstick. This one is in Chihuahua, their nude color. This one's a, a very easy color to wear. I, I, I find myself returning over and over to wearing this. NARS, when I bought um, one of their makeup kits, it came with this liquid lipstick and um, this one is the color Fantasia. This is really pretty color. Um, I mean it looks sort of like like a very light berry but on the lips it's, it's actually a little more red than it does look in the tube. And you know what surprised me about this lip gloss was it actually is I thought it was going to be like sheer but it, it, it's thick enough that it, it, it deserves the title of a liquid lipstick. And then Buxom, they have, this is a little sample that I got from, from Sephora. Um, this actually is a nice texture too, moisturizing. The only thing is, usually their product has a strong scent, be it mint or sugar. And then, you know, also the other reason why you're using their, their lip, liquid lipstick is to, you know, plump up your lips. So it might feel kind of funny at first. So for anyone who, who doesn't like that sensation, you might want to pass on this. So Naked, their Urban Decay's lip gloss. 
I, I have this in the color Naked, a, a very flattering nude, not only in the lipstick, but also in the lip gloss. I, I like the lip gloss more than the lipstick, actually, because it's uh, more moisturizing. So from ColourPop, earlier I, I mentioned one of their uh, liquid lipsticks that was in a metallic, um, with a metallic sheen to it. This one is actually from their Hello Kitty collection. This is their matte liquid, liquid lipstick. This one's called Ribbon. Okay, this one, unlike the other one, is a much easier to uh, distribute on your lips. And this color is a very flattering red. I, I would definitely recommend it if you're not afraid of red lips. Hourglass, I have the sample, their, their liquid lipstick and icon. Also another bright red. Uh, the texture is very nice. It goes on smooth. So, so no need to worry about, you know, seeing the lines in your lips. Because, you know, the, the worst is when you wear something, not only is it drying and then it shows the lines of your lips, and then let's say your lips at that time are super dry to begin with, like they're chapped. It just, just whatever lip product you wear, if it's not moisturizing to begin with, it's gonna accentuate your chapped lips, which is a big no-no. And then recently I bought th this liquid lipstick by Burberry in the Sephora VIB sale in number 49, they're in bright plum. Not only do I, I like the formulation, it's, it's a matte formulation, so even with it being matte, it, it, I mean, it doesn't look as moisturizing, obviously, as a, a cream texture, perhaps, but in no way is it um, dry, you know, it doesn't cause your lips to look dry in the end, though. I was trying to prevent myself from sneezing. <laughs> and then uh, my last uh, liquid lipstick is from Smashbox. Also, I purchased this at the Sephora VIB sale. In Mauve Squad, yeah. So compared to again the color pop, the the metallic liquid lipstick, this is much smoother to apply on your lips. You don't have to like go over it twice, and and um the oh, I want to say the highlight or the reflectiveness of, of this one actually stands out more than the color pop metallic uh, liquid lipstick. Can you just bear with me? <laughs> we just have lipsticks and lip liners left. Okay. I know at this point you're probably like you're probably like damn girl you have so many lip products I know that that's why I'm trying very hard not to buy any more uh, products until I until I, I use what I have but hard to hard to tell that to someone who is a makeup junkie because you know you say that and then you go to the store and then there's a new product <laughs> okay so so with NARS this one is their um, Part of their lipstick line, the color Volga. I remember I was going to the store and I and I told the the consultant there, I, I want your darkest lipstick. And I remember um, she she showed me one color and I was like I was like no, I want your darkest vampiest lipstick possible. So she brought out this color from Nars. Um, definitely a dark plum. Uh, very pretty, but a little dry. Something to keep in mind. Next lipstick is from ColourPop, one of their lippy sticks. This is BFF. So their formulation, it, it is moisturizing, but it does, I do notice I see the lines in my lips though when I use this. So it's, it's making me less likely to buy another one from ColourPop. Um, from Etude House, I purchased one of their um, lipsticks in PK3 cream cream texture this one I didn't like as much um, like the te like when you put on your lips the texture is a little more patchy and and I just didn't feel as luxurious as uh, my other lipsticks that I own I, I think mainly I just I was just a sucker for the packaging I just like the flamingo <laughs> you know I'm kid at heart I would say um, a product that YouTube made me buy, and I'm actually happy. 
that I have. This is from Tarte, part of their uh, Rainforest of the Sea line. This is, I would say, a creamy, very moisturizing lipstick. I, I purchased it in Pink Lemonade. It's, it's one of their nude colors. And it's, it, I wouldn't say it's a nude brown. It's going more towards a nude, nude peach. Yeah. I mean, you would, you, after you buy so many lipsticks, you start to realize there's a lot of nuances even in nude lipstick. It just depends on how dark you want to go and how light you want to go with nude. This is my my lipstick from Urban Decay Naked. As I mentioned, their lipsticks, um, I, I actually like I like the lip gloss more in the same color just because it's more moisturizing. But you know, I a lot of times I like to buy both the lip gloss and the lipstick to go together. Just so I can, you know, have the choice of making, well, either wearing them alone or together wearing them and, and having it have that matte plus shimmery um, in effect. Effect? Yeah. <laughs> So the lipstick I have on right now is actually from Dior. This is one of the, I guess you could say, yeah, cream, cream sheen to it. This is in 775 Darling. I actually like the texture. The only thing is the scent is, I would say it's waxy. So, I mean, only when you first apply it do you smell it. So if you get past that, then yes, I actually do like it. There's that one. I'll just uh, do these two together. One, these are samples. One's from uh, Bite, and one's from Burberry. Both of these are their matte lipsticks. I would say um, Bite. I would, a lot of times their lipsticks, the matte ones anyway, they they have that very, you know that that matte quality where it, it looks very, it doesn't have that sheen to it. Hence, it's matte. So sometimes I, I don't mind that look, but sometimes, you know, if I want something to look more moisturizing, I tend to steer away from lipsticks such as this, where it just looks not only matte, but very dry. Versus if you, um, what do you call it? Uh, the Burberry one, it's still a matte, but just like in the light, you can see it's uh, up close anyway. You can see that it has a little bit of uh, sh sheerness to it. So when you do apply on the lips, it doesn't make the lips look Dull. Yeah, that's the word I'm trying to look for. Like when a light reflects on it, it doesn't seem dull. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From Inglot, I have uh, their lipstick in uh, 282, their purple one. Yeah, I would say their lipsticks. Um, not only is it more affordable than MAC, um, it's also uh, moisturizing, so I would suggest this one. I just don't reach for this all the time just because the color is unique. I don't always uh, want a purple lipstick. In terms of uh, metallic, I, I tend to go towards matte, um, sorry, I was going to say matte Bondi, but no, cat <laughs> Bondi. Uh, this one is Halo. I mean, not only does she make interesting metallic li lipsticks, she makes them in very interesting colors. Colors that I, I don't see in other makeup lines. And, the, and this is not too drying. And I would say um, if you want a, a matte lipstick and has that old Hollywood look and it's not too drying, I, I keep coming back, I noticed, to Marc Jacobs. Not only do I have like this... Um, the sample one, but I during the holidays I bought the whole set that has like I think yeah six lipsticks, just just because um I mean not only was the packaging adorable but I just I just like his te the texture, you know like I said it has that matte look but it doesn't look dull, and and when you put it on it it is not too dry on the lips. Okay, so let me put these lipsticks away, and. We'll go to the last category, which is chubby sticks and lip liners. So chubby sticks, I don't know, they, they kind of fall between wanting to be a lipstick and wanting to be a lip liner. So I guess I guess they're like both, kind of like those sporks, you know, that the 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 
those things that are like part spoon, part, you know, part spoon, part fork. <laughs> That's how I see chubby sticks. But the Urban Decay, I think they make they, they make good um, chubby sticks. They actually call them high gloss lip color. Okay, so this one is uh, one of their sparkly colors in the adrenaline. I think it's it's a unique color because you can actually see a little bit of glitter in it. Nars, um, this one I have in doesn't have a name. Okay, well anyway, their satin lip pencil. I, I think it's a chubby stick, you know, at the end of the day. I would say out of the chubby sticks I own, it's not as moisturizing. It's okay. And then Bite, I have their um, pomegranate. Pomegranate crayon. Okay, yeah, I guess besides calling it chubby stick, you can call it a crayon. Yeah. This is a, I would say with Bite, this one has a matte look, but it's not dull. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, like a shine to it. Only thing is like how to like sharpen these because I noticed when I tried to sharpen it it was such a pain and you know how I, what I mean like you know eyeliners or, or lip liners they always look perfect in the beginning but then when you have to start sharpening them they just a lot of them a lot of times they look horrible on repeat use okay so let's go into the lip liners I promise this is this video is almost ending <laughs> so hourglass uh, I, you know, earlier I showed you that I had a lip liner in Icon. So this one is their lip liner, same color. Very nice lip liner. Not too, um, what is it? The, the texture is creamy, but at the same time it's firm. Which is important, you know, when you're trying to draw a clean line, but a line that doesn't hurt your lips. Along, along with that, um, with MAC, this color in Vino. This, this is a great color uh, for like berry, berry lipstick. I would say with MAC, I mean it doesn't hurt, but it, it, the, the tip is a little bit on the uh, harder side when you're trying to draw your, the, the outline of your lips. Too Faced, this one I purchased in Perfect Nude. I mean, it, I mean it does have a clean line, but I don't know, there's something about it, I just, Nothing exciting to me about it, so I wouldn't. I would say buy other Too Faced things. Don't not necessarily their lip liner. And then lastly, Urban Decay. I own quite a few other colors, especially the ones from the Gwen Stefani line. I just like that the not only the colors are um, bright and fun, but the lip liners themselves are creamy. So I hope you enjoyed um, this journey. This journey with me going through my lipstick lip liner lip tint, um, crayon, lip crayon collection. Uh, if you have any um, comments you'd like to make, please feel free, and I'll see you next time. Bye.